Nothing really. Nothing. Craft, Nothing. craft room remodel for me. Still. We're I'm this close, people. In it. We're this always close. doing stuff. I'm hoping by the weekend I can do a video tour. Oh, well, you'll be a year earlier than mine. And a year later than I, <laughs> than I was supposed to. Um, we went to celebrations a couple weeks ago. We did. We did do that. That uh, was fun. How in the world was it two weeks ago? I know. It was well, like we're a, halfway through, almost halfway through the year. Yeah. And uh, it was we like a little that. petite little, getaway. And for a library, for, there were six of us library stitchers. Yep. Yep. On the team, on the retreat team that went. And that was fun. And we met up with some other people and yeah. had some lunch and stitched in the, lo in the, in the lobby of the hotel from, that was, what, 4.30 to midnight? Yeah. It was, was great. Like, it, it was, was great. a lot of fun. A lot of laughs. Um, just what the it heart needed. It was a needed. good time. And uh, a little haul. and A little bit. Nothing like I had before, but still more than I probably should have no, had. I, I had a little bit. Since I took care of a humongous basket of charts. Probably from the beginning of the year. Yeah. I did really well not buying, didn't I? You did. I did for so yeah. a few and, months. Uh, but it's funny you say charts because I still have you know, I, I to go to through it. it. And all yeah. my floss except my DMC is not taken care of yet. Yeah. But I did do that. So much so that I'm looking at all of my color and cotton and thinking, yes, this is a lot. Someone might get an open spot. This is a lot. Um, I don't know. I did find a lot of DMC while I was cleaning my craft room so that's in a basket now and I was just talking to mom um obviously you, mom's got back into cross stitching and uh she's gonna come up and look through my patterns which means I have to take care of that pile of patterns so I did tell her that I have all of my fabric yeah I don't have um a low count fabric that I think she would I don't know if I have any more 16 count I yeah, have some have 16, and I did find some 14 that I was well, cleaning there you out. Go. Um, That's but good. she jumped right back into a Marjorie That's Bastine. Stuff. Best Bastine. Oh yeah, because she yeah. And I said, Mom, I said, you... oh, you're doing a Marjorie Bastine. She was like, well, yeah. And I'm like, well, just put it aside if you don't want to finish it. Nope, I've got to finish it. I started it. I'm like, no, you don't. So, but she's enjoying it. She's got a bird yeah. left. So. That's good. Good for her. Yeah. And let's see, what else has been going on? Life updates, not much. Family is good. We did lose our dog, Amy, yeah. about a week ago. So that's been interesting to be home without her. Yep. Um, and thank you all for your kind words on my Instagram. And what else is going on? The cat, someone, a couple of people have asked me if the cat misses her, and the answer is a clear no. no. <laughs> We did have a they surprise. lived parallel lives. Yes, they did. <laughs> um, we did have a surprise yes. coming home from where were we? Celebrations. Was it celebrations? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, for anyone in Maine, we were heading up Center Street in Auburn and heard my name hollered out. And my son in law, Brody, who lives in North Carolina, poked his head out the window and said, Hey, and then drove away. Is so, he back home? He is back home. He'll be flying back here on Sunday. So um, he does, he's on an audit team, so he audits different distribution centers. So Yeah, they moved him down there to send him all over the place. <laughs> yeah, to send him home. So, But yeah, that was quite the surprise. We're, um, and I did see the video. Your face is just as astonished as mine. Well, I heard his voice before I saw him, but I convinced myself it wasn't his voice. Right. You know, all that within a matter of seconds that you think about these things. Yeah. Um, Sometimes they're naughty. Isabel was videoing that, so. Oh. Sometimes they're naughty. Um, yeah. But it was great to have him home for a few days. And so, yeah. Was he here? He stayed here a few nights. He stayed at his dad's a few nights. He stayed at um, with his sister a few nights. So, And then he left. So. Well, there you go. But kids. Darn kids. I know it. So. Anyway, what do we got? Um, Let's see. If we want to say previous finishes... This was I one know, that, I don't bring, I that know. everyone helped me with. That's the summer one from Crochet Go Gogo. And I remember asking, do or do not do the lighthouse? And you, the, everyone said, do, do it. Do the lighthouse, yep. So, so I'm doing a combination of bees and 4th of July. Or patriotic. So. There you go. But other than that, no previous, no FFOs. Do you have finishes? I have two finishes. Okay, let's see it. Um, I finished But God 
from By the Bay Needle Arts. Very pretty. This was the hashtag but God Sal. And I left one thing off because it was done in white. I don't I don't even know if it was a symbol or, or supposed to be the I sun. I think it was more like a, well, I didn't, well, maybe it was the sun. But I it was done in it white. it was a motif. Um, so there it is. Um, the only thing I really changed was the white flowers. I put an overlay of pink so you could actually see them. It's very nice. Um, so now I'm that gonna... I've seen several of you do this, it's made me change my mind on my fabric color. And I'm going to finish it the same way Holly finished hers mm -hmm. on the um, Chantel. Copies of Holly on yep. her, on her uh, floss, floss tube, tube and Instagram. and yep. But I'm going to do it on the Chantel 141 board. Mm -hmm. But I do think I'm going to do it in... Maybe a shade of red, crackle finish. We'll see. Yep. Um, we know I just got the crackle finish yesterday because we ran into each other at Hobby Lobby. I know, that was the ultimate date. Yeah. Mike and I took off and ran tons of errands and um, I, didn't I know drove he was with him. because he didn't want to drive and I told him he couldn't talk about my driving because he's awful like that <laughs> or I was going to kick him out. Well, I didn't kick him out, but... You dropped him off at Hobby Lobby. He had no. to dance to get back in the car. I did. <laughs> you dropped him off at Home Depot and went to Hobby Lobby. Rob dropped me off at Hobby Lobby and went to Home Depot. And they met up there. They did, so. And you finished this. I did. This is the friendship treat. Missy gifted us that last year at our petite retreat. And we all want to finish it together. And last week, I realized I had this little section done. And we leave in we have three a trip weeks. Coming up, so <clears throat> so this is what I've been working on all week, but I've got it done. It's very and nice. I love it. I changed one dress to red because I like red. Um, and once I got into a groove of color completing, it went quick. So it's very nice. Can't wait. I don't know how we're gonna finish them. I don't know. To be determined. So this will probably end up in a giveaway. There you go. So, um, French Cafe, nope. Country. Now we know why Helen struggles with us. <laughs> Country French Cafe Mocha, 16 count, yep. which I don't know why I would have picked a 16 count. Probably because you had a scrap big enough for it. Oh, because it says it was on 32. Oh. Um, Weeks and DMC. That was it. That's, that's what I've been working on all week. I have stitched a lot on the hashtag building block Sal. And so I showed these. When did you get a Christmas keeper? In the box last year from Tiger oh, Lily. Okay. Thought so I missed something. These are the country, I have Little House Needleworks on here. It's not, it's country cottage needleworks. Um, ornament, pastel ornament series. Ignore my nasty nails, please. Um, this is the church and the Christmas bird. And this is oh, my, yes. I did all the called for floss and I am doing them on 28 count picture this plus ale uh, Lugana, which is really smaller than 28. So there's the church. Those colors finished. are so gorgeous. I love ale for white. Oh yes. Oh, white for ale. But even however the, however you want to say it. Even the pastel colors are just <clears throat> They're just so pretty. And when I bought it, I bought the um, floss pack. So I'm pretty sure that that's just like a snowman nose or something. Of course, probably. This one is awesome. And I switched Christmas, <clears throat> making this Ellie's Christmas ornament. And I used her given name this time. Last year I used Ellie. This year it's Eleanor. Did you put the year on it by any chance? Nope. I've got to go in and do that though. Or at least write it on the back of the finish. One or the other. Yeah. So those were finished. So you've been doing a variety on I've the, been doing a variety because I also want, the blocks. want ornaments for right. <clears throat> the tree. So do you have a tree? I'll work on some. Yet? No, because they're not in the store for sale yet, but I want them. They'll be coming. We were talking yesterday while you dig this one out. Um I ran into a, I didn't know her, but there was a lady in Hobby Lobby going. She was just flabbergasted that there was fallout. Yeah, it and, is Christmas. And someone's like, what, they they always go a, a season ahead. And I'm like, and I interjected because, you know, can't. 
And I said, anyone who sells mm -hmm. crafts has to be able to make it to sell it for craft fairs. And the lady's like, oh. or if you want to make stuff for your house, you got to buy it now to get and it And listen, let's not hate on it. <laughs> if some of us want it, we want it. Hey, there's people who have their tree up all year long. You got to scooch over. I got to get, I can't. There we go. There we go. Or move the camera over. I know it. And I started and finished um, Primrose Cottage Patriotic Quaker. Yes. Some of you may have seen this on Instagram and I was starting with a variegated floss, but it was just too much variegation for me. I think maybe um, if I had chosen something that uh, wasn't as deeply variegated, I might have enjoyed it more. But anyway, I am using my own floss conversion, which is only three floss, so it's really... Let me guess, red, yeah. white, and blue. Yeah, Winterberry. That is my cotton. favorite red from Color and Cotton. Yep. Um, Tightrope and Stargazer, which is one of my favorite blues with them too. And I did this on 28 Lugana. Picture this plus Heroic. I was just my tag say. is kind of in the way, but that's okay. And this has a slight um patriotic modeling you yep. can't really see it but red white and blue <coughs> that come out awesome i was i really cruised on this and it didn't have you know this is me thinking in my head i didn't have a single mistake on any motif and diggity dang if i didn't mess that one up but whatever did you figure it out after the fact um yeah i could have gone back and fixed it but i said no no thank no. you see so this some yeah i can't almost see, see the blue yeah now, so no I, have, I have some heroic in I'm Ada. I'm not perfect. That's my stitching. It's not nope. perfect. Um, and I have, mine is more variegated. You know, it's interesting how that comes in. Mm -hmm. I got two half yards of <laughs> the Ale 28 Count Ada. Uh, Lugana. Lugana. And they both look different. What is that dinky dye? That dinky dye. Or is that dye? a fiberlicious? No. This is um, Bush... Christmas. Oh, wow. It's a pink. And I thought green. I would do. Oh, yeah. That, but again, I don't know if it's going to be too much variegation for me. And, you know, I have to do one X at a time when I do these. Yeah. For me, for those who do one that's X. That's not at normal time. for me. Not for you. But that's okay. <laughs> So those three finishes and mini finishes, be, and I'm going to finish this. Going to finish it. You cruised on this once you. I have once, once I rounded got... that corner of having it more than halfway done. Yeah. Um, I had just barely started the last time on Fall on the Farm Little House Needleworks, chart six um, with a moo moo here. That one's so cute. This was fun to do. It was kind of stitch heavy, but not as stitch heavy as this one. And so I finished that one and I finished um, chart number two, the old farmhouse, which was a lot of fun to do also. Are you doing them on your pattern? One, two, three? No, I skipped just, around. But are you putting them that in that order? Or are you just putting them in whatever order you want? No, I'm doing the order um, that they suggested. Oh, okay. And I've just barely so i finished those two and i've just barely started the final block um and this one is number three and this is going to go really quick because yeah i mean it's just this one's cute quicker. they're all cute no crows allowed that's cute i like that one so i'm excited to have it finished this is on um hmm. something 32 it's a Zweigart Platinum Lugana, 32 count. So, there that's go. the old farmhouse and a moo moo here. And I've just started this afternoon while Ellie was napping. When this is all done, I'm going to go back and pick out a couple of things I think I talked about already. So, the little girl picking apples, I'm going to pick her hair and skin out and make it more Ellie. And I've got to pick, I want to pick. I've lost all track, where is it now? Uh, right here. Top, yeah. And take that brown hair out and put red hair on her. That's awesome. But I really have enjoyed this. 
And you must have a frame for it. Oh, well, if I, yeah, I must. Because <laughs> I didn't bring that that I bought yesterday. I found another oops frame at Michael's. Yeah. And you can't pass it up. Nope. When I came back out to the car, I went in there looking for, I don't have a picture of it, but for a couple of years in a row, Michael's sold these ceramic little small um, Statue of Liberty busts in their white, and I am looking for one, and I cannot find it hmm. anywhere. Because this is the year they've chosen not to right. have it out again, which is fine. Um, and when I came back to the car, Mike asked if I found everything I was looking for. I said, no, but I did find some things. Yeah. And it was the frame. And you know I what's funny is I haven't frame. been in the new Michaels. It's except very nice. I've only been in there once, right after they opened. It's so. very nice. Those are my finishes. That's awesome. Any starts? Yep. I have one start. Oh, me too. <clears throat> Same one? Oh, probably. Yep. I did bring my book so I can show oh, it. Oh, good. But isn't it called... Is it so, American Bouquet? <clears throat> Americana Bouquet, and it's Teresa Kogut's um, Broad Stripes and Bright Stars book. She's coming out with another page. I saw book. that. So excited. So our friends, uh, Lisa with the Sassy Southern Stitchers and Teresa Garden Goose Stitcher, um, last year they started this one together. And this year they've, I can't, and I do have the hash. So, and then this year, in God they're we, starting this one, and it's um, hashtag... In God We Trust. No. no? TK... Uh, I wrote it now. Hold on. Trust God, Sal. Oh, that was close. So, TK for Teresa Kogut. And, but I had already had this kitted for a year and never started it. That's the one I decided to do, and Kathy decided she was going to also. Oops. Let's see if oh, I can find geez. a better picture of it. It's right everywhere. I'm doing mine on 25 count Lugana, two over two. Is she gonna be big? But it's a beautiful, it's called Baby Baby Boy Blue. Oh. So go ahead. And, and I am doing mine on 18 count mint matcha from Grace Notes Fabric, which is weird because it, to me, does not have a green tint to it oh i can see it but um, it's not it's not a strong tint for sure and i had to substitute oh, old I blue jeans everything. because 924 was a lot darker than what i thought the picture looked like so i substituted union blue so and um tracy og stitchery this is what i called unicorn blue remember that day ha! <laughs> this has got a ton of irrigation and i'm loving it um, I had to stop filling in. I was bored, but that's mine. That's where I got yesterday. Look at the difference in the sizes. This is the top of the vase. No. I'm hoping I have enough room. I think I will. So I am switching. I, um, I should say that I switched out Old Blue Jeans, Peacoat, and Red Rocks. And I'm using Freedom for the Dark Blue, uh, Chesapeake Bay. Oh, for your... For the Lighter Blue. Yep. And um, Cherry Wine Ooh. instead of Red Rocks because I really... I, my Red Rocks was very pale pinky. This is my Red Rock. Yeah, mine didn't look like that. And I really wanted just a brighter... So that's where we're at. And so I got this. This was yesterday. Yep, mine was yesterday too. Um, so I'm really enjoying short it, of but doing I'm putting the, it aside because I'll talk later. Short of doing the fill-in, um, the, the vines and stuff, they go quick. Yeah, they do. So. And I know that Alicia Fanciful Flamingo started and finished that one. And it is so cute. Oh, her reel this morning was... Oh, she was fun. Riot. Go watch it. Yeah. It's Tuesday, people. Today's Tuesday. You know what? I never know what day of the week it is. Never, never, never. I don't talk about my bags very much, but I don't often use a vinyl front. But this is uh, Tiffany Black Cat Stitchery. Black Cat X just... Stitchery. Okay. <clears throat> because there's two. Yes. And I just That's a that phenomenal bag. bag. Love it. Um, in cleaning my craft room... 
<laughs> I realized that. That's like me saying, I have an idea. That usually costs us money. Um, in cleaning my craft room, I really shouldn't ever, ever buy another bag. But, but we all know I will. Because, you know, hashtag, <clears throat> gotta have a Como bag. And um, I have all kinds of fabric to make them. I know. I and, you, you know, you gotta take the That's thingy off the that one. one. I know. Wrong pen. But. So has that been your, that's your whips? Is that what you've been? That's it. Oh, wow. That's I only have I one got. whip. Which is also in the hashtag building block sow. Um, and. Oh, you're getting further on it. Yeah. That's really nice. I this can't wait to do this one. Ooh, I want to do everything. Jack Frost Tree Farm by Little House Needleworks. Oh, yeah. Um, you're, you're really moving along. I you're am almost now. halfway. Um, I you didn't are. realize. You are halfway. I didn't realize when I first started it, I thought, oh, I'm doing great. I had like part of the word Jack, and I'm like, oh, this I'm halfway. No, this thing's big. The first one's big. But. But then you'll have that one done, and it sets the stage for everything underneath it. Yes. That's really very pretty. Hold on. It is on Prairie Land by Atomic Ranch. Yeah, I love Prairie Land. Yeah, like I like Atomic, Atomic Ranch. Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Speaking of Jinx, sidetrack. Do you have HBO Max? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Do you just watch one channel? Um, yeah, right of now. Of course, it's we are Netflix. the cable cable guys, wives, and it's um, like the cobbler's kids can't get a remote. And you can't we have all these streaming services. We're not a good at. Although I have been using Spectrum TV, so yep. finally. I'm sorry, you finally got it. Uh, still dragging my heels, but I'm using it. Anyway, um, why did I start this? Oh, Something to Jinx. Do with Jinx. The Jinx. Anyone watching it? Oh, my word. Oh, oh my word. Right. You need about? to watch it. It's about Bob Durst, Robert Durst. It's a real thing. Go watch okay. it. Um, it's let's mind see. blowing. Two days ago, I lost track. I've had four days off. Um, pick a day this weekend. I binge watch season three of Bridgerton. And your, your daughter's in this. They're having a whole thing at I the know. governor's mansion. It I sounds know. so much fun. And I just want the story, not all the steam. Yeah, well. <laughs> I, it's not for me. There, there, yeah, there's a lot of steam in it. Um, I binged watched. I finished watching Killing Eve. Writing that down. That it, it's about a woman from the CIA and and an assassin who basically end up having not a sexual but a, a fascination with each other. Okay. Four seasons. I was like. I can't Sounds be like over. something my husband would enjoy. So, anyways, back to building block sale. This is Jack Frost Tree Farm. So that's where I'm at. That's very nice. That white looks really, really pretty on prairie grass. Yeah. Um, love it. So I'm getting there. And it's not really white, white, is it? No, I'm using. It called for Ecru. I'm using 3865. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, this was the one where pattern one had different, same mm -hmm. symbols, different numbers than the rest of the patterns. I'll have to keep that in mind. So, I had to, oops, keep that in mind for I'll when I was check. redoing them. We, we checked, right? Because I got the floss pack as part of the whole shebang. Oh, I don't remember. I know we I talked know. about we, it. Yeah, so. I don't, I don't Because I went and was. bought all the floss and then I realized it was wrong. I'm sure, I don't have so. any. But I was... Sorry. I was good. Another. I life even thing. used my. I have these pretty little floss drops. Mm -hmm. Someone gave them to me, and they're nice and sturdy. So I did all my DMC. Very pretty. So I have to keep checking my phone. My mother had her hip replacement surgery today, so just looking for updates. And speaking of updates and everything, thank everybody for um, yeah. kind words about my dad. He's finally settling in. It seems. To the nursing home, so. and I think so. Um, the settled in is yeah. He's got a couple of nurses. That, one curmudgeon can. That's right. <laughs> yeah, he's got we, a couple of nurses that, that um. They'll even stop by to see him before they leave at night. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's a sweetheart. But um, that was it. That's all my whips. 
<laughs> like boss I said, me. I completed May. So boss me. We get this question often. B-O-S-M-E. It is oh, just yeah. like Whipgo by Jessie Marie Does Stuff. It is her baby, her brain, yeah. everything. And we started out doing it with a couple of friends, God. the boss stitchers. This How is our years? third year doing yeah. it. Um, and now we have a big group of us. Yeah, yeah. We have a group that does it together and, um, ours we, can we be do anything. it the same way. Well, everybody's can be anything. Yes. I mean, um, you know, we I like Tracy's want, June, but. June call. Try four new recipes in her air fryer. I know. Yeah, you her. Yum. Um, but no, I had, I completed May. Those break and bake cookies work well in the air fryer. You just have no to way. Do, you have to do two or three at a time. Yes. Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, how long you cook them for? And I didn't know this. Oh, I don't know. Try five minutes. And if you want them longer, cook them long. That's how I cook. No way. I do really well with those really old cookbooks that say mix it together and put it in the oven. No a doubt. A little no bit nuts. of this. <laughs> oh, my word. Um, so we called numbers. Recently, yeah. Do you have May done? I do have May. Yep, me too. And June is Christmas and whip. So June, I have work on something love for five days. I don't know what that's going to be yet. It could be anything. It could be my anniversary stitch. It could be anything. Could be a season you like. Could be. Make your rules. And Glen a Glendon place for five days. And oh, shoot. I don't want to say it out loud. But my I'll be home for Christmas only needs the beads. There you go. And it's finished. So I'm a little nervous about starting the beads, but... You'll like it when you do it. The problem is I really like a nice, crisp, ironed piece before I start framing. Mm -hmm. And I know that that floss that I'm going to use, I can't iron. So iron it now. Because ah, you're... It's not going to matter. It's still going to wrinkle. But it'll only wrinkle... It shouldn't. I've... What little beading I've done, I've been able to hold it just right. Oh, it's got to it. be in something, though. What? You beat in hand? Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know that. I do. See my obstacles? You don't have to. Put it loose in something. Well, it is in an 11 by 11 Q-snap, and it all fits inside of it. Okay, so loosen it, iron it, loosen it so it's a, it has a little bit of give, so you can get where you want. Try it. Let's try it. I'm just going to jump in and do it, So. I guess. Um, speaking, but I really would like to finish it. Speaking of Glendon Place, um, I had a very, very kind friend send me some Halloween patterns, and in it is a Halloween Glendon Place. Then you need to do so, it. Hashtag. Uh, hashtag. You got it all. Let's GPS together. Yep. So. Let's do um, it. I think she was like thinking a combo. She knew I loved Halloween. She knew you love Glendon Place. So that maybe you talked me right into it. So, but thank you, thank you. You know who you are, and I love it. It was very nice. Um, I think for Christmas I'm gonna work on Santa's Delivery by Teresa Kogut. Um, do you have a Christmas whip that you could finish? I do. But oh, you mean kill two birds with one stone? Just say it. Well, it's only five days. That's true. But we're also going to get down here yes. to a hashtag, so. We have a lot of hashtags. We do. So make sure you check the show notes for. And if you follow a yes. hashtag that we're both doing, tag us as well. Because... Yeah, because that's the only way we really see it. Yeah. Um, giveaways from the last one. You mailed yours. I mailed mine. Mine have not been mailed yet, so... but they'll be going out this yeah. week. Or mine, at least by mine the Mine went today, so Very. it's been a couple. Very slow. I couple apologize. Weeks. Do we have any questions? Yes. Okay. Um, someone asked about the clip on magnifier that we use. And it literally is what I use mainly is clip magna, M-A-G-N-I dash clip, clip. Magna clip. Yep. Um, Let me see if you can see that. Can they? Uh, maybe. I and um, on Amazon I need is where I get them. A lot, some LNSs carry them also. So there are two different kinds. Missy and I, this is what I used to use. Oh, you can't. Whoa. <laughs> Those are what we call a half clip. 
these are full because now Missy can look up. And they're really great for progressive lenses too because I can look up and see the television. Right. These you cannot. These are full on. And you can see, I mean, look behind me. Good. Those get me more sick than these do. I mean, look, I can magnify. What's the, the, um, I almost said speed. <laughs> what is that called? Number, the, the, the dot. The, I do a 2.5. I don't know, I don't what, know what these are. Because now I have to see things. I don't know what these are. Oh, right here. These are a 2.5. These are a 2.25. I have some of I those couldn't see it in a my five. Hand, I couldn't see it because my hand was over it. But, I mean, you can see right here what it's doing behind me. Um, I like the half ones I do too. much better when I do need them because, like I said, you can look up. You can have a conversation. And I they wear do mine every single time I stitch. Yeah. And because you can, that might explain why I don't sleep at night. Because my eyes aren't getting tired, so I'm stitching a lot later. Right. And they flip. Yep. I'm on my third pair. So, because but they come in a little case. Because gives out. Whoops, I almost put them in backwards. Mine is the case the inside came apart. Oh, yes. So, so those are the Magna Clips. And someone has asked um, if I could tell them what I'm using for fabric on Early Americans. And I remember when I showed that, I wasn't quite sure. It's 28 count Laurel Green Lugana. I think it's a, a Zweigart base. Okay. Might be Weichelt, but I think it's Weigart. Uh, 28 count Laurel Green. And it it has a green hue to it. Yep. <clears throat> Elizabeth and Fitzwilliam pattern. Um, that was one of the patterns that we gave at the retreat. And it was designed, her first design is Chelsea or um, Stitching Wren. Yep. On Instagram. And she is one of Annie B's daughters. They want more information on that. I'm assuming on um, where you could get it. I don't know if it's a pattern she's going to be releasing. She certainly can. We did not put any stipulations on any of those no. patterns that I know of. Um, you could reach out to her. I haven't been able to get um, the information. Right. And so many of you are so excited to watch us that you're clicking the second the video <laughs> uploads. <laughs> uploads. You need to keep in mind that if there is no audio or video, YouTube, I have found, needs some time to do its thing once it loads up. I don't know why. It's oftentimes no audio or no video. Be patient. You don't have to message us. We got lots and lots of messages about yeah. it. Be patient. Give it 10 or 15 minutes. And um, Usually I'll say that in Jess. Up. You can yeah. message, but that's what's happening, and I won't answer all of those messages the next time. Um, yep. That's what's happening. We Nothing really, wrong with the video. No. Nope. Just got to be patient and let it um, spool, I guess. Yep. I don't know. And believe know. it or not, we uploaded both of those videos from last time, the retreat recap and our last oh, yes. one, at the same time. Right. We wanted and the retreat one first. First, but. That one took two days. It's okay. It happens. Yeah. It just um, what was it someone said? It either uploads in an hour or 84 days. That's right. So I don't remember who said that. I don't know. It was their video too, so. Mm -hmm. um, Plans. You skipping over haul or? Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. 34 minutes. We don't know what to do with the short know, video. I'm confused. Uh, we can what go you got? For haul? Yep. Not a lot. Okay. All right, a lot of crinkling, sorry. So. This was a spur of the moment idea. Kathy, you should have got a discount on that. I should saying. have, but I didn't. I'm changing to the book of days. I've always used a happy planner. I need something that. Have that's, you started it or are I you starting not. in June? I'm starting in June. Okay. I got to put my stickers in because, you know, that's where you start. Um, I need something smaller, more compact. Um, so I'm, I'm jumping in. You could still uh, get it spiral bound and stuff. It was like five dollars. Yeah, I might do that Thursday. Mm -hmm. Will they do it while I wait? Maybe. Uh, no. Okay. Well, it depends on how busy. I went to Staples, and the young man was very busy, so I said I would come back okay. another time. All right. So, tons of these. This is all celebrations. I have bought a couple of downloads 
um, from Etsy this past week. I did not print any of them out. But this is all celebrations. And I can't tell you what booths, but got Such a little sheep. England. Yep, got a little sheep bobbin winder. I got some needle minders. It, that's what I do. I drink coffee and I know things. Oh, that doesn't show. What do you know? That I drink coffee and that if I don't have coffee. You need it? Yeah. Now, what did you say? The Turks? Is it Turkish? They take their coffee so seriously that you can divorce your husband if they don't provide <laughs> you with enough coffee. That was like back in 1500 something. And then I convinced, he didn't believe me, don't get me wrong, but I told Rob that it's in the Bible that he needs to bring me coffee. And he said, where does it say it? I said, Hebrews. And this one is fluff you, you fluff and fluff. Because I can. This is Missy's fault. Hashtag Missy made me do it. But he's cute. And I now, you'll I see. I said he has a pine cone head. She said, okay, I'm buying it. Yeah. So if that means twisting your arm, then I'm guilty. Um, I've seen quite a few people show this on floss tubes. Yeah. I actually have a whole box of my perforated paper and my Mill Hills all in the same box. Oh, good. I should do the so, same thing. This is another Mill Hill. They call it Autumn Harvest. Oh, it's Autumn Harvest Collection. It's called To Go. But it's coffee cup. I'm not a fan of the purple, are you? I don't know. I might make it red. Oh, there you go. And then I wonder if I can make it into a needle minder. Uh, maybe. We'll find out. So, um, this... I gotta show the picture because um, excuse me. Bear with me. You don't have much of your craft room left out here. No. All right. This was the model at Stitch New England. This was the pattern. The it's model the sold it. Models sold it, but I had to have it. It was just something about the crow. Um, and then you were talking to someone. I would not have even seen these in her booth, except they were at an end cap. Um, but this is a Satsuma Street. Was Another? that Sitch New England? I think so. This Pam with Sitch New England yeah. was set up at um, Celebrations. Um, a lot of us... In the group that went, yeah, bought this. This is a that. Brenda Gervais, The Sewing Bird. Sorry, I never take them out. And this, if I hadn't seen the model, I wouldn't have bought it. It's very cute. I should have taken, I don't think I took a picture of the model. But this is New York Dreamer. Yes. Okay. New York Dreamer. And I... The model is just amazing. So I did... And that little guy really is a little guy. Yeah, he is. Um, and I did buy the three colors that I needed. The, the rest is DMC. Um, so there was three weeks. Icicle... I don't know what it is. Hunter and pecan. Or pecan, depending on where you're you from. You pee in a can, you eat a pecan. Yep. And then I bought... Listen, when we were in the Air Force... That's what my friend from Alabama told me. You pee in a can and you eat a pecan. Is this what I bought for it? I think oh, so. Lord, I don't remember. I thought you bought the winter mm. mint. Yeah. That's winter I don't know. Mint. Shirley told you to buy them all. You yeah. can make your mind up. When so get ready I to was do it. really, really looking for this fabric. This is done on 32 count stormy cloud Zweigar. Um, The third, the. What I found was actually 16 count. Yeah, but it wasn't greenish like that. No, nope. and it was stiff. Yeah, it was stiff. It was crunchy. It was crunchy. It wasn't even stiff. So I didn't do it. So I'm still up in the air. But um, I got some 25 count white Lugana. Because you won't use it on that. Nope. And then I bought 28 count Autumn Delight. These were in, it was the guy's booth. Uh, Needleworkers Delight. Delight. Um, because I could. Now these, I can't believe I did it. Gotta do it sometime. Three pieces of linen. 
28 count winter mint, 28 count weathered storm. I might do it on that one, I don't know. And 28 count dune. Oh, and that's not even showing. Well, that would be pretty. So, um, <clears throat> Missy keeps saying over two, over two, just count just it. Just 14 count. And it doesn't look very slubby. Do they don't look slubby. Yeah, I'm not into a slubby fabric. Yeah. Although I was watching someone and they said there's a way to remove those slubs. Oh, no, thank you. But that takes time away from stitching. I know. So, I didn't say I'm going to jump right in, but when we go away on our next trip, I am going to take a piece of linen and a pattern. Very good. That's it. That's what I bought. I did purchase, okay. like I said, um, Kathy Barrick's Vibrant Flowers off Etsy. Did you get Wild Mint? Winter, Winter Mint. Mint. Okay. I was going to say, wow. Um, and... Another one, I, like I said, I didn't print. My printer's been sitting here on the table. I just plugged it in today, so I haven't printed anything. Okay. That's it. I have, um, I think, one piece of Stitchy Kindness and Mary Lou, a.k.a. Luann. Luann. It's Luann. Um, two crossed stitchers, Mary Lou and Amy. Go watch them, yep. two New Englanders. She um, sent me this to use in something. And um, I might get it back to you, Mary. Well, I'll definitely get it back to you because I don't need the whole skein. Very nice of you. Um, but I also, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use it. Farmhouse Flossies. Cindy with Farmhouse Flossies. <sighs> Gotta go on. Totally. When I start it, I'll show it all together. Um, but again, Mary Lou has done a conversion for the Primrose Cottage Stitches Monthly Minis to Farmhouse oh. Flossy. Oh, oh, yes. So, anyway, I bought several, several. I get paid on Friday, so I'm going online and getting some of those tonight. <laughs> I bought several. I like that some amazing are- Amazing customer service, amazing shipping. Great communication. I love that some are variegated more and some are variegated less. I'm going to have to stitch one at a time, I think, but. You can find them on Facebook. I'm gonna put that up there so someone can, is it focused, Missy? Yes, um, so also she does have a website now too, which are not on these older cards. So Farmhouse Flossies, on Facebook, but she also has a website. Right here, Famos Flossies. And such, here's a here's a, another one you can screenshot. I hope it's in focus. I can't She tell. had a big uptick in orders after us and a couple others talking about her, because it was just us, I mean, why not? Farmhouse that, Flossies that and such at, oh, at gmail.com, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's her email address. See, um, I took my glasses off, it would help. You do that at every video. Because I watch off. it, yep. That's I'm funny. like, she's never done that before until like the last few months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which has changed? They're brand new. I don't think the bottom's right. It's it's oh. good for stitching, but not for close up. So farmhouse flossies, amazing, amazing. I can't wait. I'm gonna go on. So I'm gonna write nice. that down. Like I need more floss. I also got one of these. This is a heartstring samplery product made um, in the boardroom. Yes. I'm assuming from wood from their place. I also got, uh, Brandy made me do this one, Don't Make Me Drop a House on You. She just, I just watched their video today. And Free to Sparkle. He has some, some cute needle minders. Yeah, mine's all mixed in here. I got the two Little House Needleworks Log Cabin Christmas um, charts that I was, I only had the first one. So Log Cabin Bunnies. I guess I didn't realize they all had an animal on them. It's so cute. Yeah. And Log Cabin Fox. Oh, that's a cardinal on the I was fence. just going to say. I thought it was a, a rooster. I was going to say, is that a chicken? Because that's wrong to put a chicken and a fox together. Oh. 
and I got a piece of, I don't know where this came from, to be honest with you, Atomic Ranch Wild Mint 20, a 32 Lugana. Honestly, I think I have this already. Yeah, it's a little darker than it's showing, but that's really, really pretty. pretty. So I have that. Um, oh no, I placed an order. That's What's where I got these. I placed an order with Stacy. Thread, Thread the, the needle. needle Stitchery was having a moving. So congratulations on your move, your house sale. Excited to see all the new things. Oh yeah. She had a moving sale, and that's where I purchased the um, Wild Mint in these. And I've always wanted this uh, Plum Street Samplers Proverbs 31 sampler. Oh, that's nice. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands, Proverbs 31.13. And, oh, I'm seeing now that that's on a box. <laughs> now she's seeing... It but is a gorgeous box it. from Old Colonial Designs. Oh, and Old Colonial Designs is, um, oh my gosh, I just lost her name. Yep. Massachusetts. I think she was the person who started Celebrations. Yes, and she was at Celebrations. What's her name? Not Barbara. Anyway, you have that information now. At Celebrations, I got um, Tomato Pin Cushion, Mel oh, Hill. Yeah. You had to copy, huh? Copy who? I showed that in the last video. Oh, say so I got the last one there. I know you did, and everyone's like, where'd you get that? I got these, which are really neat, at... Um... In inspired Needle? No. No. Not Needle we... Bling. I kept saying Needle Bling. It's needle Workers Delight. Yes. These are doilies. One of them is a 32-count Belfast Linen, and the other one is a 28-count says solo. A lot of people missed these. So really, and it was one of the first things I saw. Yeah. I was chatting, Diane with Silver Creek Samplers was set up and I was chatting with her and I kept like, some, it caught my eye. I don't know why it caught my eye, but I have a plan to stitch on one of these for um, a swap we're doing. Yep. And then someone and, gave you the idea and Mary to- Mary Lou's going to- Finish the back of it for yep. me. So I got to get going on it. Because if not, you'd have to really be careful on your back. I'm going to have to get going. And I bought a sticker. Oh, I bought some stickers oh. too. Where did I put my stickers? So I have that. Huh. And I bought a couple stickers. I have, I'm slowly wanting to get these, but I'm learning there's 25 of them. And the last one will be released soon. Uh, to commemorate Diane of Little House Needleworks to um, uh, honor, memorialize her mother. Yes. Hometown Holiday, this is the mercantile. I didn't realize it was 25. I didn't either. And Saltbox Scriptures, Little House Needleworks, Blessed Out and Meek, Merciful, Pure in Heart, and Peacemakers. And Silver Creek Samplers, this is totally not me. No, it's not. But it... Was me. Well, yeah. Right down to the sweater, I believe. Um, this is called Memory Era. Can't recall most 1980s lyrics, but still can't... Can recall. Can recall the most, re most 1980s lyrics, but still can't remember the reason I came in this room. Pretty sure I had a sweater just like that. I'll change the hair color. That's awesome. Oh, Cheryl made me do this, but she didn't even know it. She was guilty. Our Cheryl? Our Cheryl. Oh, um, Evidently, she's starting a sound with this at some point. So. Randy and Emma call her the enabler. Enabler. The enable, yeah, an enabler. enabler she really is. And I have looked at this so many times, I finally just bought it. It's gorgeous. Spruce it up. What if you took, this coming from me who's never used it, but what if you took different color cranics for the bulbs? Oh, that would be pretty. You must have some leftover pieces. Oh, sure, I could do that. Um, Emma, B and E Citry got these also, and it is a pack of six pillow forms. So stitch something, and they slide inside here. 
Kind of like a pine mountain. They're kind of yeah. like pine mountain pillows. Nicole yes. got some too, but she got a variety pack yeah. of sizes. And one Christmas theme and... I think so, yeah. I think patriotic. Really nice. Really good deal. Yeah. We enabled Nicole big time. <laughs> I never saw her the whole day. I know, but she won. Can't she won. She won. I got a half yard of amber waves because I cannot find this. Every time I go to put it in my cart, it's gone before I can purchase it. Yeah. This was from Stitch New England. Yes. Yep. Amber Waves. I also bought Golden Harvest, but I have it already in a kit. And I can't even tell you about my kits right now. No, but we'll, you're going to follow that hashtag. What is this? This is 28 linen. Oh, it's linen? Yep. And mm -hmm. I just love it. That's a beautiful. So I think it's, pretty. It's not doing it justice. That is, it's showing more yellowy. Well, it's yellowy, but it's... Yeah, cute. I bought it because I was determined that I was going to do... Um, Geraldine's Flowers by the Artsy Housewife on this. Oh. And I did a floss toss with this and their um, Golden Harvest, and I liked the Golden, Golden Harvest. Harvest better. That's that. That's it? We did that good. That was enough, though. We did good. So. I feel like that was more than enough. Um, I wanted to mention, um, I watched a new floss tube this weekend. I don't know if you got a chance to watch her. Um, cool. Jackie with Comfort Stitching. I have watched um, half of her. Her voice so far. in the very beginning, I knew I knew before she even started her floss tube that she is, was a yoga instructor because just her voice is very calming. She stitched in the 80s like most of us. And then when she came back, her very first piece was considered the lilies. On 40 count linen. Yeah. And she changed it. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous. She put in uh, buffalo. I and love that buffalo. Dragonflies and, but um, she said something um, to someone, and her answer, someone had asked, "What draws you to a pattern?" Mm. And I'm curious what you guys will all say. So you know, if you think about it, she said it's a feeling you get when you see it, and it's true. Sometimes mm -hmm. you see those. I just have to have it. It's noise. that's okay. Um, go check her out. Her name is Jackie. Comfort Stitching, um, and she calls it that because stitching brings her comfort, mm -hmm. which we all talk about that. So I very very to... pleasant. Yes, very pleasant. Um, plans. Um, I am going to. Well, on the personal level, do I have any plans coming up? My husband is going to turn a year older next. Or this weekend. Today's That's Tuesday. Right. Today is Tuesday. Today <laughs> is Tuesday. Tuesday. So his birthday is Saturday, and um, we're just gonna cook. There you go. Kids will come. Grace is making him strawberry rhubarb pie, and he just wants burgers and hot dogs and salad. There you I go. Like, I can do that. Um, I'm gonna stitch. I am going to so Emma. With B and E Stitchery, yep. new kid needle minder on Instagram. Yeah, she is starting a hashtag in June, um, and the hashtag is just one for June. Yep, she's gonna work on one whip until it's, it's completed. Done. So I thought, hmm, that sounds interesting. And then Chris, the camping <laughs> stitcher, is doing <laughs> hashtag Stitch That Kit challenge. And yesterday, I have 30 kits, and I have other things that I want to kit up. You have more kits than whips. I do. I do. I love to, I love to kit. You're too funny. So I really want to work on... Um, I want to work on eliminating some whips. Not because they feel like they're dragging me down or anything. I want to finish them. Right. Fall on the farm, I can taste that finish. I can taste it. Yep. Um, if I really get cracking tonight, maybe I go home and have a coffee. I could have enough energy. <laughs> uh, I could get that done. My oldest whip is um, the Mary, Ald Mary Ann Aldred sampler well, with the swan old, in the middle. Either, it, but it is old for me because right. I've only been back for a little bit. Right. Um, and I really want to get that finished. So I think tonight I'm going to pull out all my whips. And I'm just wow. going to look through. I know. 
I know. I don't have tons though. I don't think I have 25. I might. I might have to report later that I have more than that. But I don't think I do. That's all right. It doesn't matter your number. That's the thing. Right, right. But I have, I've got to pull them all together though. I've been thinking so about So I few. think that's what I'm going to do. That and um, this isn't until the end of July, but keep your eyes out on um, Katie the Napping Nap Time Stitchers Instagram. In the past, um, maybe you're aware, maybe you're not, she has put out, um, whether it's summer or winter Olympics, depending on the year, stitching challenges. Olympics and, are in July? Yep. Why did I think they were the end of Because when I'm away, the end of July is when they start. Oh, okay. Um, hashtag stitch the summer Olympics. So be watching for that. What she did for the last Olympics was so much so fun. So much fun. And she said it's going to be even better this time. Yeah. So. so if you haven't done it, it could be, say it's swimming. The day that that day is something to do with swimming because we all know that if you live in the United States and the Olympics are overseas, you have to stay up all night to see them. Um, but it, say that day is a swimming event, it could be stitch something with water. Yep. It could be if it's a pairs event, stitch something with two bunnies or two things yep. or a duo. Yeah. Um, opening ceremonies, a new start. That's all right. Type thing. Yep. It was a ton um, of fun. Katie is it was she's, so much fun. Yeah, so, so creative much fun. with that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And there's so many hashtags that um, I just want to remind you. I'll show this in a second, and you can screenshot if you want that and we I usually, might be involved in. And, and you, I usually put them at the bottom. Um, so T I A G with friends told in a garden. Use that stitching any told in the garden, and um, also tag myself and Joy. Um, Carolina the Carolina Stitcher. She's one of the Carolina Stitchers. I don't know if they're still doing this, but it would be fun if you are doing something that's bacon related, that has a pig or something. Yep. Hashtag bacon sal. So Chris and Jane with the Boss Stitchers um, did that a while ago. Yep. And uh, Glendon Place, let's GPS together. We're still, I mean, if you're still working, anytime you're working on any kind of block or series, building block sal. And also, I haven't um, done anything. I haven't stitched anything yet, but that's going to be my, my focus this summer. I have such an itch to do patriotic again, too. Uh, Market 24 cook-off sal using the um, market, Nashville Needlework Market. Right over there. Uh, 2024 cookbook. Um, I did the... I didn't even mention this when we did our retreat. I tried the cover recipe. Oh, yes. Um, yep. The lemon pound cake. Super yep. easy to make. Yeah, good. And Kathy showed her finished yep. um, But God, but also hashtag But God Sal yep. that our friend Holly is doing, plus the others that we mentioned. Um, and Holly has another one. What was it that she was starting? Is it the... Vibrant Flowers? Hashtag Vibrant Flowers by... Teresa Koga, I think. No, Kat, Kathy, Kathy Barrick. Barrick. Yes, and I think that's... I think that's what she's calling it. But we'll know more on that. She has a new video out and she talks about it. And if you haven't seen her craft room tour, it's yeah, short and sweet, cool. but oh. It was, that was really cool. Yeah. My husband happened to be watching it with me and immediately, Pac-Man! <laughs> She didn't have Pac-Man when we were visiting. Always an house. 80s kid. So Always an 80s kid. Um, I'm also, I'm going to do the just just for June, just one for June hashtag. Um, what are you going to work on? I don't know, but I have an itch to make that dang Mayflower land. So You should do it. Yeah. How much more do you have left to do? Not a lot. I don't do think. Do it. You so can do it. Everybody I may tell her. I may start sooner than later. Um, I will be doing uh, starting Vibrant Flowers in, in June. Um, on a personal level, to, on a personal level, tomorrow, Wednesday, is my very last day at work mm -hmm. at the bank. Um, no, I'm not retiring, I wish. Um, I accepted a position back at our town office where I was several years ago as new town clerk. So lots of changes, but no weekends. So I'll be able to do retreats, go. 
Just you only work till noontime on Fridays. So I feel like that at noontime, when there's a Monday holiday, we can just book it and go someplace for the long weekend. Even if it's just Bangor up to see Teresa. I know. I know. I can't wait. That would be fun. Um, Hobby house. Oh. I've been itching to go back to Stitch New England and do a night. Yep. And stitch with our friends. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I don't know how far I'll get on that, what did we call it? What's it called? American Bouquet by Teresa Kogut that I started yesterday. Um, I may even start some, some of my whips to, this week. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to dig mine out. I have some kits, not as many as you, but I have, I have a box That's of things craziness. I want to start. And I thought yesterday when I went through all my kits that I would unkit, like some things would be like, eh, I don't really want to stitch that anymore. No. 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 Um, I have some things kitted that I'm okay with not starting them right away, but I know that I've got most of the stuff. But there's things in my I want box that I want to kit up and get started. But And I pulled out six or seven more things when I was taking care of things. And... I'm just now thinking about ahead a little bit for July is going to be all oh, Christmas yes. for me. Yep, me too. And that Teresa Kogut sheep, he getting done. Oh, the one with the scarf? Yes. You got to find the right fabric to make him pop. Uh, Joy you, told me what, what she used. I can't green? remember. What, I have it pulled aside. I can't remember. No, it's I can't remember what I. Yeah, I'm doing all Christmas in July as well. Um, no matter what boss me says. So I'll just make it work. Yep. <clears throat> yep. So, um, I do have a bingo. It's going to stink if I pull fall. <laughs> well, I pulled Christmas, so, you know, but I want to do Santa's delivery because I do want to get those pieces, stick pieces. Yep. So, so anyway, That's summer it. is up, summer is upon us. Yep. Um, We're officially in. I don't have any, well, let me say I don't have any summer plans. I have trips this summer. More on that later, but, um, yeah. Nope. nope. I'm looking forward to spending some time kinda... with friends, and Grace will be off this summer. Um, what are you going to do? You won't have Ellie a couple of days a week. Oh, You're they'll be, be at the house. I know, yeah. <laughs> well, she had her first dip in a, in a little pool, a little I kitty know. pool. She's so fun. And uh, she'll have her first birthday before we know it. Yeah. And, She's, uh, um, of course, they're teaching her sign language for eat and um, more. more. Today, I had her, and she was she was doing more all day. I'm like, listen, you are not hungry. <laughs> she might want, I don't know, I saw her with your, your date book. and Oh, she's crawling around, and yeah, yeah, it's, she's, she's doing great. They're doing they're doing really good. Awesome. So she'll be off and... Um, When's the last day of school? Do you know? I think it's June 14th for for us. Yeah. Flag day. Sure. So anyway. There we go. There's no... Um, there's no solid, like, formal plan. But um, a friend of ours, Ho Holly, Hobbies of Holly, mentioned... Yeah. Um, that it is the 80th anniversary of D-Day this year. Oh, yeah. So um, I'm going to do something on June 6th. I'm going to start something small that's yep. that's patriotic. There so I actually ordered it from Reese <laughs> yesterday or the day before yesterday. Gotta love it's it. It's the uh, October House faded, faded flag or whatever oh, it's called. Oh, the, the long, long flag. one. Yep. yep. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to work on all my whips and... Keep ordering stuff. Keep starting everything. Yep. Um, I do know that Heart and Hand posted in her on her Instagram today and Facebook. Um, she's going away for a week of work, a work solo trip to refresh and revive and design. And she was asking people what they'd like to do, what oh. they'd like to see. So oh. if it's still this week, you can answer and give cool. her some ideas. Cool. All right, I think. All right, then. Hey, we, we made it an hour. We're we good. Did. So. We did. Um, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you um, very much. Thank you for all your comments, your questions, your kind words, and uh, we appreciate it more than you know. Hope you have a great stitchy week. Bye, Bye guys.